What is going on guys? My name is Day and today we will be covering Duality of Slipknot. This was requested by my former schoolmate. So yeah, without further ado, let's enjoy. So you finished watching until the end. I approve. You are commended. Recommended. <laughs> so uh, we'll look into the song lyrics so that we can both understand it. This is a new portion of my channel and it is named Latiai X Song Review. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into it. 
I push my fingers into my eyes. So what does it mean? We'll see. Corey Taylor, who is the vocalist of Slipknot, has mentioned before that the inspiration was bad migraines he'd get, the common reaction for people with migraines, sinus pressure, and even brain freezes is to lightly push into their eyes with their thumb and fingers. Still, if those migraines were a physical reaction to an emotional and overwhelming situation, pushing his fingers into his own eyes is a way of trying to control just the expression of said emotion, not its actual cause. Hmm. Also, one could think that pushing your fingers into your eyes is bad for them, but it makes the ache go away. Oh, that makes sense. Slowly stops the egg. Therefore, what Corey could be implying is that he's doing something that's bad for him and he knows it, but it makes him feel better. So he does it anyways. That's life. I'm starting to love this um kind of Let the IX song review. Alright. But it's made of all things. Okay, moving on. But it's made of all things that I have to take. What does it say? Even though it's an enormous amount of pain, he understands why it is there. This has to do with Corey's quote on the song bio. It usually has to do with making a choice. You get to the point in everyday life when you have to make a decision that you may not want to but you're kind of pushed into that position. Yeah, that's life. The initial lines disclose a psychosomatic headache that is a physical response to a stressful or insufferable situation. Here, Corey acknowledges that he brought this upon himself, a crossroad of sorts with which he cannot deal and is somatized as bodily pain. This is the point where responsibility and reluctance meet. Knowing you have to do something despite averting it is as much as you can. Okay, moving on. This is too deep for me. I don't know. I have no words to say. It's an art. Hell yeah, it's an art, man. I am screaming until my veins collapse. There are at least two ways possible to interpret this line. Despite persistently screaming, Corey has found that nobody is willing to listen. As such, he has given up. In this sense, his veins collapsing is a metaphor for running out of emotional energy. Mm. Another, interpreta- another interpretation could be a literal description of his physiological response to the way that he sings. Okay. Because he screams, What? I'm not gonna make it. I wish, I'm sorry, my voice is hoarse. My voice is hoarse! I can see my voice is hoarse! I wish for this, a be, a be that. Okay, let's move on. For substances, craving them. But once he finally takes them, he bitches about them. He needs these substances but doesn't want to take them. He wishes for them because they take the pain away. But once he has them, there is a constant fear of losing them or of not having enough. He bitches about them because they are both his savior and his pain. They both raise him up and drag him down to his knees. Bitch is the only curse word on the album. Oh, wow. Very family friendly right here. <laughs> On the album, which is partially a response by Corey to feedback that he used to many curse words on Slipknot's first two albums. Yeah, he swears a lot. Damn. Moving on, I've left behind this little fact you cannot kill what you did not create. There are a couple of potential interpretations of this line. He has tried really hard but not found it impossible to solve the problems that others have created. He cannot be destroyed by his rival as they had no part in his making. This interpretation can work metaphorically and theologically. Ooh. Ooh. Theologically. Hmm. So it's kinda related to God, I guess. In the video, there's a graffiti of these lyrics you cannot kill what you did not create in the background on the garage door. What you seen in this line exactly. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, moving on to the verse 2. So far, it's good, it's good. My brain's kinda overwhelmed with this information, but that slip not for you. Okay, but I can promise you'll enjoy the noise. This could be taken literally. People look down on others who listen to this type. Yeah, view them as satanic worshippers. And they see it as just a bunch of noise. Which Corey says at the end of this line. My future seems like one big pass. It's not strong enough to end this addiction. And it's bound to make the same mistakes over and over again. With all of the negative repetition in his life. He thinks that he's going to repeat his bad decisions. He cannot see any other way that it can end. But plot twist, Corey Taylor has beaten addiction 
I think he's he's sober now and that's good for him he's an adult now he's 50 years old i guess <laughs> so yeah that's a pretty wise choice i commend cory for getting out of the rabbit hole <laughs> we're in verse 3 now put me back together or separate the skin from bone cory wants whatever is causing him pain to either let him heal or destroy him entirely instead of remaining in the duality between the two extremes oh that makes sense that makes a lot of sense now so i've been listening to this song for the past i think 15 years <laughs> i discovered this song when i was in grade 3 so 9 plus 4 is 13 so 13 years wow i'm old as sh bro <laughs> okay okay all i've got is, is is insane this is the lyrics that still i haven't understand yet i don't know but this doesn't make sense for me okay let's see what they got after all the pain he's been through the only thing left to ident identify him is his self-perceived insanity mm, all i got is insane wow so yeah that's it that's the song review i'll rate this song um I have no right to rate this song but this was my this is my volume 3 favorite song album oh what volume 3 albums favorite song because um it's so iconic man it's so classic hearing that keg Tonk! hit the <gasps> out of that keg by clown nah, it's good it's fun so yeah, that's the song review I have no right to rate it but in my personal rating <laughs> I will rate this um I'm going to write this 9 because um, this bridge is so repetitive man <laughs> but uh, yeah I have no complaints in this song I really love this song but it's not 10 for me <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry but uh, yeah that's my favorite volume 3 song for you and if you're new to the channel my name is Andre Dureyu is my YouTube name and uh why am I speaking like this if you like this kind of content kindly subscribe leave a like and comment down below your favorite song so I will I can cover it on the next video bye I hope this was fun for you thank you thank you thank you